When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to growth. Thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle.
When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more, a belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more, a belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more, a belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle.
When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. This is day number 23 at hindi pa po kami nakakaranas ng ulan habang nandito po kami sa Subic. Ambun-ambun lang ang nangyayari dito. As you can see, clear skies outside and we expect a heated semi-final matchup as we begin this day. Day number 23, it is win or go home. Dito po sa ating semi-finals, wala na pong bukas. Just one game to determine our finalists. Our matchup for today, AICC Manila contra dito sa kupuna ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Our first game, second game will be the Davao Occidental Tigers. Coco Life contra po sa San Juan Knights. Go for Gold, Noel Zaratebo, kasama si Javi Palanya. And I hope you're all following the brackets that we have here, Javi. 
Yep, AIC in Pasig gunning it out for one final slot in the first game. At sa kabilang dako naman, it will be the Davo Occidental Tigers and the Sun One Knights go for gold, writing another page in their history books of that storied rivalry that they have. That's gonna be an interesting matchup. So is this one because tandaan po natin, ha, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors is one of the teams that actually dealt AICC Manila a loss during our elimination round. That's right. One of the losses that AICC Manila suffered in the elimination round. And it actually, it's a close game that uh, Pasig well, that's the only close game that Pasig won. Yeah. And before we get into the details of their previous matchup, let's send it over now to Ken Pangilinan who talked to both coaches, Coach Jerson Cabildes of AICC Manila and of course, Coach Bong De La Cruz of the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. I'm here today with the two coaches who will battle it out dito sa outside semifinals. So, unahin ko na si Coach Jerson Cabildes of AICC Manila. So, Coach, you've had two days of rest. Dahil nga tinalo nyo yung M-Chance Batangas in your quarterfinals matchup. So going into this matchup, kumusta yung mga players? And how did you use this rest as a key para maging fresh yung mga players? Actually, yung rest, uh, we're coming from a back-to-back -back game against San Juan. And then the next day is M-Trance. Uh, two games na very hard fought yung laban na yun. So the next day, we just practice. Uh, the two days yung nag-practice kami, then review some plays and nag-scouting kami for this game. And coach, nung elimination round, tinalo kayo ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. What makes them a dangerous matchup for you guys? Actually, since the start of the tournament, talagang uh, nakita namin yung Pasig is a very tough team. Saka they can beat anyone naman dito. Eh. So talagang malakas yan. So yung tinalo niya kami, hopefully we could bounce back today. Thank you, Coach Gerson. So sa kabilang dako naman, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors head coach, Bong De La Cruz. So Coach Bong, it seems like yung team nyo is peaking at the right time. Nung simula, nahihirapan kayo ng no elimination round. But now, you've strung out uh, good wins against Nueva Ecija twice. So, yun, what's your assessment so far sa cohesion ng team ninyo? Um, sa tingin ko yung first two games namin, uh, because of the long layoff, syempre walang basketball, hindi namin alam kung paano kami mag-perform. Uh, naging learning experience sa amin yun, eh, first two games namin. From there on, natuto kami. Then, um, nagkaroon kami ng teamwork, yung character namin na build. So, nagtuloy-tuloy siya. Hopefully, going to this game, um, may diretsyo namin hanggang sa finals. And coach, you're going up against a formidable AICC Manila squad. So, in your assessment, what does it take for you para makapasok kayo sa finals? A very strong team sila. No? Um, kailangan namin mag-double hard, especially sa... Depends sa uh, every ano uh, every situation sa defense kailangan namin magtrabaho. Should be an interesting chess match sa dalawang coaches. So back to you guys. Thank you very much Ken Pangilinan and of course ayun na nga pinag-uusapan natin one of the uh, rare losses ng AICC Manila came at the hands of the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. In fact, the Realtors snapped that seven game winning streak ng AICC Manila. That's right. They were the hottest team in the whole tournament at that point, yung AI talking about AICC Manila. And Pasig Santa Lucia, this is the only close game that they won. Usually, their wins, they average double-digit uh, margins yeah. in that. And pag close game, talagang nahihirapan sila to finish it in the end game. But the difference in this ball game was the free throws that yeah. they were able to make and the end game clutch shots coming from guys like Tyrone Chan. And of course, alam naman natin yung free throws. Look at all of those numbers dito, Javi. They're practically the same. Pareho sa rebounds, lamag lang ng isang assist dito. In fact, 14 turnovers um, ang both teams dito. So it really came down to the free throw shooting. And that's going to be key because again, sa Nueva Ecija, best friend, ginamit din nitong kupana ng Pasig Santa Lucia ang free throws nila moving forward. But here, in AICC Manila, Michael Mabulak in that game uh, led them with almost a double-double, 16 points and 9 rebounds. Pero itong si Ron J. Buenafe, some clutch shots. Did not shoot well, but he had some clutch shots in the in the end game. That's right. And Ronje Buenafe is really going to be key here for Coach Gerson Cabiltes. Uh, he's not 100% today. He's suffering from an ankle injury. But uh, he will be very key, especially in the end game if this game is close. Again, it's a isa ito sa mga pinakahalagang gunner ni Coach Gerson Cabiltes para sa AICC. And his veteran experience being one of the leaders itong AICC Manila will be important in this game against Pasig Santa Lucia. Ryan Costello might have found some power pellets under his bed because he has been performing so well of late especially heading into the playoffs. That's right. Ryan Costello has been averaging double-digit points in the past four or five games for Pasig Santa Lucia. And again, what Coach Ogi Gumatay said, I, uh, Ken Pangilinan overheard it in one of their huddles, Ryan is the key. Yeah. 
and he has been showing it in this past four or five games for Pasig Santa Lucia. He has been orchestrating the play so well and he has been scoring, he has been rebounding, he has been doing it all. He has not committed a lot of turnovers in the span of those games and he has been really what uh, Coach Bong De La Cruz needed from his starting point. There's Tyron Chan, of course, who was player of the game in, the, in their last outing of 12 points. But of course, let's talk about the players. Naman. Ken Pangilinan was able to catch up with AICC Manila's Burley, JJ Collado and the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, Cedric Ablaza. Kasama ko naman ngayon ang dalawang manlalaro magtatagisan dito sa first knockout semifinals. Unahin ko na si JJ Collado of AICC Manila. So JJ, itong Santa Lucia ang, ang, ang nag-deal sa inyo ng huling talo ninyo bago kayo na, nakamit yung number one spot. Ikaw ba, gigil ka bang bawian itong mga to? Ah, uh, oh, gigil na gigil akong bawian, lalo na yan si Seth kasi siya yung nag-best player nung time na yun. Ah, uh, tsaka yun nga, uh, pinagandaan na naman namin sila. Ah, uh, nag-scouting naman yung mga coaches namin. Siguro kung ano lang yung paghahanda na ginawa nila, yun din yung gagawin namin sa game. And JJ, of course, yung frontline nila, mahaba in comparison sa inyo na malalapad naman kayo, paano, mag paano magiging factor yung physicality ninyo going into this knockout match? Uh, siguro nga, yun nga, lamang sila sa haba sa amin, pero uh, pagdating naman sa mga guards, mabibilis. Siguro sa kami naman mga bigs, dahil mabibigat kami, kukunin namin advantage sa, sa, sa ilalim naman. Thank you, JJ. So sa kabilang dako naman, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, big man, Cedric Ablaza. So Cedric, nga, last few games, nag-start ka for your team, and kitang-kita naman yung scoring output mo, sobrang nag-increase ever since you started. So, Pag binibigyan ka ng ganong kumpiyansa ni Coach Bong De La Cruz, uh, nabuboost ba yung confidence mo? Uh, yun nga, uh, siyempre binibigyan niya sa akin yung tiwala dun sa playing time. So binibigyan ko ni Sukle yung binibigyan niya yung tiwala sa akin na binibigyan ko yung best ko para manalo yung team namin din. And yung mga previous games yun ng eliminations, iba-iba rin yung nagta-top score para sa inyo. So what can you say about yung pagjajel ng team nyo, lalo ngayon deep into the playoffs na kayo? Ayun uh, yung kinaganda nung team namin. Nung first game namin, di ba, sunod-sunod yung talo namin. So, at least every game nag-improve kami. Then yung wala sa amin yung talagang star player, star player uh, nag-play kami as a team. Yun know. Thank you, Cedric. So there you have it, the two big men who will battle it out later. Back to you, Noel and Javi. And of course, we just have enough time. Th thank you very much, Ken Pangilinan, to talk about yung previous matches nila in the quarterfinals. Ito kupo na ng AICC Manila was almost a wire-to-wire -wire, uh, victory there nung nakuha nila against the entrance Boracay de la Ia, Batangas City, Tanzway Athletics. That's right. Uh, AICC actually pretty much dominated the whole ball game. But pero in that game, Michael Mabulak was able to start for them again. 14 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 assists. Itong si Hesed Gabo naman, who didn't play well in their elimination round matchup against Pasig Santa Lucia, also start for AICC in that game. He had 16 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, and 3 steals. Usually, when Hesed Gabo plays well, it's all automatically always a victory for AICC. And uh, AICC Manila just practically just outshot itong kupo na ng Batangas in that game. 32 of 75, 23 field goals lang made. And they also they dominated the rebounds, points in the paint, which is to be accept, uh, ex uh, expected. Pero of course, yung points of turnovers was also key because the guards kept on forcing turnovers. Ito naman kupo na ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Kailangan mo nila dumaan sa butas ng karayong. They were the lower seed coming into the quarterfinals against Nueva Ecija. They had to beat them twice, Javi. That's right. But uh, like what uh, Coach Bong De La Cruz has been saying, they have been gelling at the right time. It has been uh, very important for their cohesion. And uh, sabi pa nga ni Boss Buddy, yung exposure nila to, that, to, 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 to the competition yeah. has aided them in uh, e elevating their game in this tournament. And the factor that uh, other players are shining for them in different games will make AICC's defense guess. Well, of course, Ryan Costello came out again. Jerick Teng actually had a tournament high in that game of 16 points. Here are the numbers from that last game. And yeah, you see here, um, they were able to limit Nueva Ecija to just 31% from the field. And the three-point field goal shooting, 10 out of 29 compared yes. to just 4 out of 24 para dito sa Nueva Ecija, best friend. And the free throws, even though Nueva Ecija was able to attempt more, Pasig Santa Lucia was steadier at the 15-foot parallel. Well, ito ang Pasig Santa Lucia, which another anomaly there. They shot better from three-point range than Nueva Ecija did from the free throw line. And like what we were discussing before the coverage, if they are able to make their free throws at a consistent rate, they will have a good chance of winning the game. Actually, they are number one in field goal and free throw percentage yes. in this league. 
Well, AICC Manila, the top seed, taking on the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, the fifth seed. One game to determine who the finalist is going to be as we send it now to Ken Pangilinan for the introduction of the starters. Mga kafil basket, mabuhay! It's two or die semifinals! We're down to the last four teams of the 2021 Phil Basket Zubek Championship presented by Coco Life. Our first game is between the number one seed, AICC Manila, versus the number five seed, the Pasig San Lucia Realtors. First, the starting five for the guys in white. Your AICC Manila! At forward 6-4 from Subic Lyceum, number 23, JJ Collado. Also at forward 6 feet from San Sebastian College Recoletos, number 29, Michael Wigo. At center 6-4 from Jose Rizal University, number 31, Michael Mapulak. At guard 510 from the University of the East, number 18, Philip Manalang. And at the other guard, 59 from Mapu University, number 7, Hesed Gabo. Their coach is Cherson Gabiltis. And now the starting five for the guys in green. Your Pasig Santa Lucia. Realtors! At forward 6-3 from SCI College, number 11, Cedric Cablaza. Also at forward 6-2 from SCI College, number 17, Chaps Bautista. At center 6-7 from Arellano University, number 15, Justin Arana. At guard 5-10 from the University of the East, number 10, Rudy Linganai. And at the other guard, 5-6 from San Sebastian College, Recoletos, number four, Ryan Costello. Their coach is Bong de la Cruz. Our game official. Ah, uh, these two guys, uh, these two squads mean business. Let's take a look at our starters. Uh, brought to us by TM Easy Surf 99. Practically the same set of starters for AICC in like, like in their last game against Emtras but Hesed Gabo starting in place of Chris Pito and para naman sa panic ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors your usual suspects and uh, Rudy Lingana has actually been starting the past few yeah. games he usually comes off the bench but uh, uh, Coach Bong de la Cruz needing that added firepower to begin this game That's gonna be a very interesting matchup in the backcourt para sa magabi lang kupunan and as Ken Pangilinan said Mabuhay! We are about to get this first semifinals a game going the number one seed at AICC Manila contra dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, the number five seed. And they have played three consecutive games. Uh, ito, uh, they're now playing three consecutive games in the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. First quarter brought to us by TikTok. Will that play into this matchup, Javi? That will definitely play into this matchup because AICC, even though if they, before this two-day rest, they came off two back-to-back, -back, hardly fought games, yung rest pa rin will be a factor. But uh, titingnan natin if... Uh, Yung tuloy tuloy na games will help Pasig Santa Lucia maintain their rhythm in this ball game. Uh, looks like Ryan Costello is still on the same rhythm that he had in that Nueva Ecija series, knocking down his first attempt. And that ball is knocked out of bounds dito. Magandang point na sinasabi rito ni uh, JJ Collado as we take a look at that last play. That's a great pick, by the way, set by Cedric Ablaza to free up uh, Costello. Yung height nitong kupuna ng Santa Lucia will have to be offset by the heft. They're not that tall. In fact, I, I think, what, 6'5 na yata tallest player dito, nitong si uh, AICC Manila uh, in the person of uh, Jamo Egilos. So they're going to have to use their heft to try and get as much space for the guards and for themselves as well. So, Pensa. That's right. It's going to be a very interesting matchup in the front line because Justin Arana has so far been dominating the past few games. He had 25 in their first quarterfinal matchup against Nueva Ecija and then 13 and 11 dung last game nila yesterday so it will be interesting to see if matutuloy niya yung dominance inside the paint against the heftier front line that AICC has 7 seconds to shoot now for AICC Manila still looking for their first basket of this game as at Gabo gets it out Michael Mabulak and he scores from the elbow well both teams off to a good start here making their first shots of the ball game I just want to go back to Justin Arana of course you did mention he was a factor samantala may steal mo na rito para kay Pretty Boy Philip Manalang 
Getting it inside now, Hezet Gabo is able to score. That is the first turnover that Ryan Costello has committed in the past two games. You're right. This guy has been spotless. At the efficiency numbers, it's really pang fantasy. Ano? Yung mga pang, uh, asasabi mo, idadagdag mo sa DFS mo, tapos biglang gumagawa. Oh yeah, diba? definitely. And you wouldn't expect that from the smallest guy on your squad. Right. A miss by Linganay. Rebound picked up here by Colliado. I want to bring up that point about you said about itong si uh, Justin Aranas. We have a nice drop pass inside. Galing dito kay Mananang to Michael Wico. And the AICC taking no chances here after their made baskets. Talagang puk-puk talaga sila sa pressure. They don't want to take any chances. They don't want to give any itch dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia. You mentioned those great numbers by Justin Arana, yung 6'7 center ka nitong Pasig. But in the game they had against AICC, as itong kasi Arana is able to score his first two points, he only scored two points on one of four shooting. He did pick up ten rebounds and then two blocks, both of them on Michael Mabulak, by the way. But the thing is, offensively, you cannot take only four shots if you're 6'7". That's right. And uh, even if he played 20 minutes in that game, he was virtually a non-factor. Uh -huh. Pero ito nga past two games, especially against Nueva Ecija, talagang pinakawalan siya ng husto ni Coach Bong de la Cruz and really made plays for him uh, during uh, the games. Itong si Collado is able to knock it down. Lingana is still looking for his first basket of the game. One shot allowed lamang para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Manalang, long two is good. AICC is off to a blistering start right here. Gusto talaga agad nila pagurin itong Pasig Santa Lucia because they know that they, these guys are tired coming off. This is, after all, their third straight game. Well, here's Lingana ngayon. Iaapot dito kay Japs Bautista. Unang hawak ni Japs on offense. Arana puts it on the floor. He has the height advantage over Collado, unable to score. See, that's Mapulak, not something yeah. that he usually did during the elimination round. That's why you can see the confidence of Justin Arana has been growing uh, at a steady rate, especially in these past few games. As we look at the shot by Philip Manalang, despite the challenge of Rudy Linganay. He's signaling three, but it's actually a long two. But you're right, though, these guards are actually starting to come out uh, with uh, itong si uh, Hezet Gabo. Pati na rin itong si uh, Ryan Costello. It's, it's going to be very interesting in that uh, guard position. Here's Mabulak. He loves to do this. He posts up against the taller Justin Arana and he's able to score. And that's just experience for you. Again, Michael Mabulak, one of our ex-pros here dito sa Phil Basket Subic Championship. Putting on a master class in the post against the youngster Justin Arana. And now at an 8-point lead, 12-4 to 4 para dito sa kumpunan ng AICC Manila. And this is our TikTok move of the game brought to us by TikTok. Kulang na lang mag-flex siya, nahiya siya mag-flex eh. Kasi alam niya, mahaba pa ito, laban na ito eh. The way Justin Arana was able to post up his defenders against Nueva Ecija was the way Michael Mabulak mm. just did on that play. Right. Pag single coverage talaga, you better believe that it's gonna go in. Michael Mabulak's about 6'3 on a good day. Able to get that out of the, uh, over the legit 6'7 na itong si uh, Justin Arana. In the meantime, a foul on JJ Collado who is uh, channeling his inner Lawrence Taylor. Kita natin dito, boom! That is called roughing the quarterback. That's a 15-yard penalty. But going back to Michael Mabulak, being, being going up against a 6'7 guy is no match if, you're go, if you already went up against a 6'10 guy every day in practice. <laughs> you're right. Kanumero pa. Nakikita, 15, 15. Yeah, tatanda ko na yung ginawa ko kay Junmar. <laughs> 6 and 31 remaining here in the first. So far, so good for AICC Manila. Pasig Santa Lucia now going to Cedric Ablaza who splits the defense for the layup. Now I think Cedric Ablaza will be a very big factor here in this game because as I said, heftier nga itong front line ng uh, AICC but Cedric Ablaza likes to attack from the outside and he definitely has a speed advantage against the bigs of AICC. So titingnan natin if uh, he will be able to produce a lot for Coach Bong de la Cruz in this game. Michael Mabulak is able to manufacture free throws on the foul. That'll be probably... Okay, it's going to be against uh, Ryan Costello. Let's check this out once again. Hesitation, deception, and uh, dexterity ang pinakita doon nitong si uh, Cedric Ablaza. As we thank our friends from Coco Life, our official partner here in the Field Basket Subic Championship. An early sub para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia. Cedric Ablaza will sit down. I believe they call that as a second foul on uh, Ablaza. We'll have to double check. But here comes Jeric Teng who had a great game against Nueva Ecija. 16 points is a tournament. I was averaging 5 points heading into that game. Pero yung apat na 3-pointers niya was so key para dito sa kumpunan ng Pasig Santa Lucia. And uh, uh, despite uh, 
him struggling during the whole tournament. Yeah. His confidence has gone up uh, really closely in this past few games. You can see the field goal numbers right now. AICC Manila's only missed two shots, passing at 50% at this point. Here's Teng. Going now to Arana. Single coverage lamang. Binigay kay Colliado. Puts the moves on JJ but hands it over to Jexter Apinan. Wise move there by the youngster. Arana able to deliver it to Apinan who was cutting behind him after he was clamped down in the middle. Biglan lumaki yung lineup dito ng uh, Pasig Santa Lucia with the entry of uh, Jexter Apinan. Lob pass inside. There's gonna be a foul called. That could be on Justin Arana trying to hold on to Michael Mabulak. It's going to be a long day yeah. for Justin Arana. Okay na rin yun, basta productive lang. I mean, going back to another guy who disappeared, Hezet Gabo, only scored six points on two of three field goal shootings. Can you imagine Hezet Gabo just shooting three attempts in a game? He's been, he's been like uh, shooting at least ten since then. Yeah, but the good thing about that, even if Hezet Gabo isn't able to produce, meron kang guys like Chris Bitoon, Jonathan Uyloan, and um, guys like Philip Manalang who can pick up the slack and step up instead of Hesed Gabo. Not a good sign for AICC Manila as Jerick Tang hits his first attempt coming off the bench. It's down to a three-point lead, 13 to 10 ngayon para dito sa AICC Manila. They continually go to the post to Mabulak and Mabulak continually attacks. And there's one stat nga that I was telling you about as Mabulak gets another follow-up. Michael Mabulak leads the league in blocked attempts. But he doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> He will keep going at it and going at it until he gets his production right. <laughs> the battle of JRU continues as Jextra Pinan gets that one under Michael Mabula. Oh, that's another interesting storyline in this game. Nag-abot ang dalawa sa JRU. Yes. They, they were teammates in yeah. college. Down to three once again. And Apinan has been so effective off the bench. And here he goes going all the way for the layup. Nothing Colliado could do about that. That is the speed advantage that the force of Pasig Santa Lucia has. Jexter Apinan, Cedric Ablaza. These guys will terrorize itong mga four and fives ng AICC Manila because they like attacking from the outside, putting the ball on the floor, and forcing turnovers, leading to easy transition points. Nice hard show there para dito kay uh, Justin Arana and made Gabo think about it. In the meantime, Jerick Teng is going to be called for a foul and he vehemently protests. But that was almost good defense for Jerick Teng except that he was he decided to put his hands on the basketball and that's what uh, aided Hesed Gabo in drawing that foul. Let's look at that right here again. Si binaba niya yung kamay niya eh. He yeah. got a little bit of the arm. You can see the reaction immediately of uh, Jerick Teng. Nakamax tol na naman yung referees natin dito. As Coach Bong De La Cruz does not agree with this one. Nakamaximum tolerance yan. Alala ko si Steph Curry, ginawa yung ganyan. Boom! Tuhog ka agad ang ginawa sa kanya. Of course, this is a one-game playoff for the right to make it to the finals. So a lot of pressure on both teams here as these free throws are brought to us by Wilson. The official basketball of the Phil Basket Subic Championship. That's right. Knockout game. No, no, no room for error. Talaga. Yeah. No room for adjustments. Ang adjustments mo in game lang. If you get down early, it will be hard for you to get back because these teams are both experienced teams. Both have very veteran players in their squad. Credit, of course, to Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors because they were down by eight already, twelve to four. Pero naidikit na naman nila rito into just a two-point lead. John Ray Villanueva in the game for the first time. Here's Arana. He is the only starter remaining. Kasi si Lingana, bumalik na lang yan. Do the shoot. They better put it up. Recovery made by J.R. Taganas as Michael Wico sacrifices him. He sacrifices himself to make that miss happen. Here's Chris Biton ngayon. Gusto iwanan si Villanueva and Chris Biton got the layup but missed. Another rebound here pulled down by AACC Manila. Uyluan three-pointer, not there. And the rebound to Apinan, and he loves doing this. He's going to bring it down. With three minutes and 15 remaining, Dito Sating first quarter, a tight, low scoring one, and this pace should favor passing. Dang from the outside. Paganas wants to trigger it out again to Michael Wico on a steal, almost para Dito kay Rudy Linganay. Wico, nice passing here, touch passing para sa AICC Manila, but Bobby Balukanag was called for steps. That's good recovery on defense by Pasig Santa Lucia. They look good for Gunn on that transition play. Yeah, Huilo one actually could have had a shot there. But again, Bobby Balongkanag lifted his pivot foot. Now our first look at Ron J. Buenafe, who shared a picture of his foot on social media. It looked like he had an extra ankle.
So may pilay po itong si Ron J. Buena Fit. Tinanong ko sa kanya, kamusta ka na? As we thank our friends from the Subic Bay uh, Metropolitan Authority and the Central Luzon Regional Task Force, nagpakita siya sa akin na may phenomic acid. Well, I'm sure Coach Jason Cabiltes just told him na magpahinga ka na lang muna kasi we, uh, we might need you after this. Because uh, admittedly naman, they have so much uh, guys at, at, at his same position who can pick up the slack for him. And syempre, Ron Jay, di na yan masyadong bata. Wow. But Ron Jay is in the, on the floor right now. And he told me before the game that he doesn't care how painful it is. He has to play because this is a knockout game. Well, that's the true mark of a professional and a very experienced player and a fighter. Yeah. Time down to 2 minutes and 40 remaining. 5 seconds to shoot here in the first quarter para dito sa kumpunan ng uh, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors and a reach in on Chris Biton. That's only the third team foul for ICC Manila. And I'm sure the mere presence of Ronji on the floor will inspire his teammates to do even better and to win this ball game for the effort that he is displaying. Ronji Buenafe, when these two teams first met in the losing effort para sa ICC Manila, actually scored 12 points but, but only went 3 of 10 from the field. He has, of course, improved the shooting since. Ablaza back in. Three-pointer not there. And only one secures. 2 and 24 remaining sa ating first quarter. Chris Bitoon. Nagbababa ngayon. Bitoon fires on the three and he is foul taking a three-pointer. And Cedric Ablaza is beside himself. I think that's his third. No, just his second, yeah. So buti na lang. That's just his second foul. But still, two fouls in the first quarter from, for one of your main guns. Bad news para kay Coach Pong de la Cruz. Never really good to foul a three-point shooter at that. And one of the best free throw shooters in the league, no less. So, si Chris Bitoon, nakapag player of the game na rin ito. At kinikwento nga sa akin ni Jerson Cabiltes, the first time he got Chris Bitoon to play for Jumbo Plastic Linoleum in the PBA D-League, he was only 18 years old. And he was already making, ah, sorry, for Chelu Palat, siya, sa Chelu sa, sa PBA D-League, he was only 18 years old, pero gina, mama na yung skills niya. He, has, them all show, down. he yeah. has shown that he has been able to hang with the best of them, especially at this level. Nakalaro na nga ito sa PBA with yeah. Blackwater. Yeah. In the meantime, Felix, Felix Apreco is going to see his first action of the game. Coach, nice proper bench decorum ng Santa Lucia. Coach Bong de la Cruz uh, digging deep into his bench. Itong si Felix Apreco didn't play in their game against Nueva Ecija. But again, the fatigue factor really should be considered here. Lingana giving, uh, being given all sorts of problems here. They beat on and he is going to be using his physicality too much as Bitoon goes down. Offensive foul, Lingana. That's a lot of uh, fouls being called here at Pasig Santa Lucia. We're not even close to one minute dito sa first quarter. Uh, Lingana seems a bit out of sorts at the moment. And uh, itong si Ryan Costello is gonna come back in after a short rest. The lead is five para dito. So, pala na pasig sa tal si Real. Oh, they called the foul on Apinan. Sinagasaan niya si Bitoon that time. And isang nanagasa rito si Ron J. Buenafe. As John Ray Villanueva does his job. Tanda natin, Ron J. Buenafe will be compromised a lot because of his lack of laterals niya because of that ankle injury. And there are two bumps. Chest bump pa. Uh Oo. -oh. So less than two minutes to go. The deciding first quarter, 19-14, AICC Manila. Costello against Bitoon. This should be an interesting matchup. That's going to be a hold on Bobby Balukanag. Oh, by the way, this game's going. This is going to be a very yeah. long game. No, not only a long game. It's going to be a physical game. I saw the ice bath of Santa Lucia ready. They will use it before uh, at the end of this game. Tuto sa swimming pool natin sa Travelers Hotel. There's this giant swimming pool na inflatable na puro yelo ang laman. Gonna be an icy evening no matter what the <laughs> outcome is. Apinan missing on the first free throw. And again, you made the point here, Javi. If Santa Lucia makes their free throws, they usually win games. And that's their first attempt and their first miss dito sa ating ball game. So split by Apinan, the lead is down to 4, 19 to 15. A minute and 40 to go sa ating first quarter. Knockout Friday. It is win or go to ASEA. Balukanag. Yan ang masarap, ano? Pag na-eliminate ka, lapit ng beach. 
But of course, Nide, who wants to be eliminated? You've come this far. Especially so Pasig. Oh, oh. Especially Pasig. Dalawang elimination matches and dinaanan nila to get to this point. Costello for three. Too strong. Here comes Uiluan leading the break ngayon. Chris Piton has it. Back again to Jonathan. Lipat sa kabila. Buena fe. That ankle looked pretty good on that move. The guy with an ankle injury performs an ankle breaker. That is just vintage Ron J. Buenafe right here. Look at that. Hop step, step through, and the finish on the reverse. Gets the hoop and the harm. Ron J. Buenafe now at the line for the bonus. Sinabi pa niya kanina kung ano oras siya inom ng gamot, 3.30. So may, medyo tumalab na siguro yung mag-aalasin ko na eh. Sipin mo yun, ganyang kalaki with a major ankle injury. I mean, it's, it's, it's still swelling. Dinaan sa mepenamic acid. But I was I was observing him uh, during the warm-ups. Did it look like he may iniinda siya eh. Pero yeah. siguro that's really uh, the sign of a true professional talaga eh. When you've gone to all so much levels of basketball already. At talagang yeah. sanay ka na sa mga ganyang classic situations. Well, Buena Fe able to increase the lead now to nine. Largest in the game and up in none. It's gonna be called for a traveling violation. AICC Manila just holding their ground here in the first quarter. And suddenly it's become high scoring. Well, the defense of AICC has just been through the roof. The pressure has just been great for them, especially after uh, Pasig Satalosia was able to come back from that short deficit early in this first quarter. And then uh, coming into the playoffs, AICC Manila was the number one scoring team in the league at 88 points a game. Chris Piton and Girian sa loob. <laughs> Huli ka, Baby Shaq. I think it's more obvious if it's against a preco than against somebody wider than a preco. Pag nagpanggaan siya, tingnan natin dito gano'ng kalayo ang tinalsik ni Felix, ha? Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> Parang dito wala sa tabi. Na-displaced. Tinabi lang, eh. Hindi <laughs> ko makita, hindi ko makita tumabi ka nga dyan. Oh, boy. Baby Shaq, one of my favorite players of all time. Ito si uh, J.R. Taganas. Been covering him since he was 18 years old in the 2004 Sayaba Championships in Lucena when he was part of that very, very vicious Philippine uh, uh, youth team. Felix, uh, Felix Apreco, now one of three for Santa Lucia. That's right. One of four for Santa Lucia, but Villanueva able to get the rebound. Here's Tang, sized up, uh, sizing up itong si uh, Ronje Buenafe. Jerick puts it up. Rebound, Bobby. Shot clock has been turned off. 17 seconds remaining here in this first quarter. That has really taken the shape of an AICC period. Piton, here comes the pick by Balukanag. Gets it out to Baby Shaq. 4-3. And the rebound to Tang, and that's going to do it for our first 10 minutes of action. That was close for JR Villanueva, by the way. So after a, just a two-point lead, para dito sa AICC Manila at a 4, 16 to 14, they're now up 24 to 15. And uh, to see si Philip Panalang started the hostilities with that jumper, but then coming off the bench, it was si Jester Pinan able to jumpstart the offense of Pasig Santa Lucia. The second unit kept it close, but then AICC Manila dinala naman sa pagiging uh, brusco sa loob. Nito si Michael Mabulak flexing his muscles as we enter the second quarter with AICC Manila up by nine. And back with us here at the Subic Bay Gym, I'd just like to say hi to Coach Willie Chan sa pag-provide not only of our uh, the trophies natin, pero yung uniforms na suot. Nakita yung suot ni Ken Pangilinan kanina. Red na red. Salamat, Coach Willie Chan. At nanonood siya ngayon dito sa atin, as he always does. And it is 24 to 15. Ang ating score, AICC Manila, running all over. Pasig Santa Lucia in the first quarter, second quarter brought to us by Grab Food. Yeah, and you can see here the free throw numbers. Six out of eight na para sa AICC Manila and just one out of four para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia. 
despite AICC being in the penalty earlier, Pasig Satalasi wasn't able to capitalize much on that. Yeah, missing field, on those free throws. Field goal numbers negligible at this point. It's really the free throws so far. Cedric Ablaza. So got the first quarter rebounds lorded over by AICC Manila. Na doble nila. Itong Pasig Santa Lucia. Uiluan, thinking three. Na open si Shaq sa loob. Hindi niya nakita. Uiluan tees it up. That's not his usual favorite angle, but it will work as it is now a 12-point lead for AICC Manila, 27-15. to 15. Jonathan Uiluan usually shoots from the left side, but he says, let's just warm up. We have a timeout called by Pasig Santa Lucia, and this timeout is brought to us by Astig Roasters. greatness there is a lot you don't see you don't see the path to greatness where it starts how far it can go or what fuels each step it's a thirst for more a belief that no matter how great you are today you can be even greater tomorrow the greatest never settle This second unit of AICC Manila is ridiculous. They are doing so well right now. And they have stayed on the floor for quite a while. Well, ito, Ivan Ludovice seeing his first action along with ito si Tyrone Chan who was player of the game. The last time they met, a steal by Piton coming off the passing timeout and Chris will score easily. Now, this, pressure, yeah. now this defense is just crazy for AICC Manila right now. This kind of pressure Pasig Satalasi was not able to face this against Nueva Ecija. Isang ayon sa pinagtataka ko, why not? Why, did, why didn't Nueva Ecija execute that kind of pressure defense against Pasig Santalusia when they had the chance to beat them in just one game? Well, it's forcing another turn over here. As Uiluan outlets to Bobby Balokanag. And now a 16-point lead for AICC Manila. They did this against M Trans Boracay de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics, and they once led by 19 points in that game. Seven on another one. points. Chance to increase that run. Buena fe, nakababana in defense rito na Pasig Santa Lucia. Now he'll take on a Blaza one-on-one. Pulls up from the elbow. He will miss. He's looking fine, that move right there. Yeah. Sa offense, wala namang problema, sabi. Wala problema sa offense. Sa defense lang siya masusubukan. That's right. That's right. Here's Ivan Ludovice. And his pass is poked away. A bunch of turnovers now for Pasig Santa Lucia. Bito on. Going over to Uiluan for the layup. 9-0 run for AICC Manila. Another timeout called by Coach Bong de la Cruz. 33-15. to 15. Suddenly, an 18-point lead for AICC Manila. Forcing a bunch of turnovers here in the second. This timeout is brought to us by Astig Roasters. The worst part of this para sa Pasig Santa Lucia right now, Javi, is that they're out of timeouts already here in the first half. We still have 7 and 47 remaining. They're going to have to deal with this pressure all game long because AICC Manila has the personnel to sustain this kind of effort on the defensive end. Points off turnovers, all eight of them coming here in this uh, first qu in this uh, second quarter. A miss by Bautista. That's and another, another chance to fast break here. Gabo gets it back to Uiluan. The lead is 20 now for AICC Manila. And this is a hole that Pasig Satolosia doesn't want to find themselves in. This is, after all, a knockout semifinal game. Right. 
So if they will cut this lead down, they have to do that as early as they can. Nahulog pa dito. Ito si Costello. And a foul is going to be called on Jonathan Uiluan. Suddenly, discombobulated itong kupuna ng Pasig Santa Lucia. Jexter Apinan is going to check in. And he will replace Tyrone Chan. Let's see that last play once again. Mabuti na lang ito si Castello. is a very high basketball IQ. Nahanap pa niya yung kakampi niya at that point. Week of returns for Uiluan. As we thank our friends of Coco Life, our official partner here in the Field Basket Subic Championship. Now, Pasig has to draw um, inspiration from Batangas because Batangas was down by 19 and at one point they were able to still cut it down but you know, they still lost that game. Here is Ablaza and that's the first basket of the second quarter para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. See, what AICC Manila is doing, they're pressuring Pasig in the backcourt for them not to be able to set up their offense because that, that when, they, when they are able to set up their offense and move the ball well, good things happen for Pasig Santa Lucia. And that's exactly what they did against Nueva Ecija. They kept the, the defense guessing time and time again. Right now, itong si Cedric Ablaza completes the three-point play. It's down to 17. You have to start somewhere if you're Pasig Santa Lucia. And one of those places to start is taking care of the ball. Easier said than done, of course, against this AICC defense. Right. They already have seven turnovers in this game. We're 6.45 left in the second quarter. They had 14 turnovers the entire game the first time they met. Aguilos off the bench. And Justin Arana just visibly frustrated because he knew he could have blocked that shot there. Back to a 19-point lead ngayon. And a foul on the ground. And the battle of the two JRU heavy bombers continue. <laughs> Parang halos nagkalmutan sila ng una nilang pagtatapat eh. And naganda ng matchup nila in today's game because both of them are leading their teams respectively in scoring. They have seven apiece. You saw that move there by Jamo Aguilos. Ablaza having all sorts of problems and he is lucky that Mabula could not come away with it. Almost a five-second violation. Bautista on the quick inbound now to Justin Arana. They leave Costello momentarily open. Costello drives. Costello misses. And another rebound secured by Jamo Aguilos. Steven Saruma in the game for the first time. They get it inside to Mabula who overshoots. Here comes Justin Arana. Oh, make that uh, Jextra Pinan with the right hand this time. Crashing the boards. It was Cedric Ablaza. They got it out, not the Japs Bautista. Very physical inside. Nice pass inside. Another basket for Jexter Apinan. And one opportunity for the Realtors. Again, the ball movement, very vital for Pasig Santa Lucia in this game. But for them to be able to do that, they'll have to break that backcourt pressure. But so far in this past few possessions, they were able to do that and uh, getting close baskets from close range. And all, another three-point play opportunity. Jexter Apinan now at the line for the bonus. That, of course, was our grab food delivery of the game. But he misses again. The free throws will be key here para sa Pasig Santa Lucia. 37 to 20, ang ating score. Just under six minutes remaining here in this action-packed, fast-paced second quarter. Steven Siruma. Gabo elects to drive. Na, tapikan dito. Recovery made by Jexter Apinan. Wico trying to stop him. Apinan is hammered by Michael Wico. That's sometimes tricky when you guard Jexter Apinan. You, you all really know that he's gonna go left no matter what. And pag na-stop mo yung left niya, iikot lang talaga siya. But, but he's, got, he's pretty good at dribbling, huh? That's For a guy his size. He's done that so many times in his career. Free throws brought to us by Wilson, the official basketball of the Phil Basket Subic Championship. And the free throw struggles continue for Santa Lucia. It's now two out of seven for the Realtors in this game. They went 19 of 23 the first time they met. That should have been disconcerting. But they na shoot nitong si Jackstar Pinanya's second free throw. Thirty-seven to twenty-one. Lead is down to sixteen from a high of twenty. 
Mabulak now forcing some shots up. Again, he's one of the most, the, actually the most blocked player in the tournament. Nice drop again to uh, Apinan and more free throws coming up for Jexter. Jexter has met the floor the most times by any player in this game. The mark of a true pro, again, a former PBA player. Ito si Jexter Apinan when he suited up for Kia. And that's hard contact given by Jamo Aguilos. And for a lean guy, he uses his body pretty well to shield the basketball when he's yeah. going up for those shots. Good news is it's still the first half. 16 points is super manageable, especially for a team with the firepower and tenacity of the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Talking about tenacity, boy, these players have just displayed a lot of that and we're just in the first half. Kahit nga yung coaching staff eh, yeah. and both squads are really into it. And that's the beauty of having a knockout semifinal game. Yeah. With a final spot in, sto in, uh, in store for both of them. Wow, they're shooting really horribly from the line. Two misses by Apinan. Near steal. Here's Mabulak. This time he won't make a mistake. That's his first basket after like three tries. At yeah, <laughs> blocked twice during that time also. Back to an 18-point lead for AICC Manila, 39-21. to 21. Bautista on the drive, trying to stay aggressive. Cannot get to the free throw line this time. He knows he's the best free throw shooter on the floor. And he's trying to manufacture free throws. Here's another pretty good free throw shooter, Rudy Linganay, who's going to come in for Jexter Apinan. So the starters are back para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Arana, a little gun shy right now, tries to get it inside and it's stolen again. This time by Steven Siruma. And that is a gutsy move by Ryan Costello trying to get in the way of a barreling Steven Siruma. That wasn't really a wise decision for Japs Bautista to ask for the ball in that spot there. Not really good spacing. Kaya nakuha agad ng AICC yung turnover doon. No man movement. And Jerson Gabiltes will use the timeout right now because despite the fact that he's up by 18, the Realtors are trying to get to the free throw line by being aggressive and he wants to address that. This timeout, of course, is brought to us by Astig Roasters. Four minutes and 18. <clears throat> na clear, clear. Pound throat kanina bumalik din. Four minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Dito sa ating uh, second quarter, 18 point lead for AICC Manila. 39 to 21. Well, Zarate, kasama pa rin po si Javi Palanya. And an interception here by Rudy Lingana coming off the Jerson Cabildes timeout. Ablaza, the pressure continues. Bautista jacks it up from about 30 feet away. And that is good for three. He wanted that so bad. The moment he caught the basketball, no hesitation and hoisted it up from straight away. First three points on the board for Japs Bautista. They needed that. They're down by only 15 with under four minutes to go. Dito sa ating first half. Siruma wants it back. Can't get it back. Nice tap by Aguilos. Papunta rito kay Mabulak. But he will miss. And last touch on the white shirts. Well, if you're passing, uh, you would live with that Stephen Siruma shooting from the outside as yeah. long as there's token challenge in front of him. And of course, you need to box out as well because Michael Mabulak and Jamo Egilos are in the area. Lingana looking for Costello. Shot clock at 10 ngayon para kay Rudy. Getting it inside now to Arana. Justin Arana on the fall away. And that one rolls in. 
Lead is down to 13. Good fight being shown here by the Realtors. First field goal in a while for Justin Arana. Well, he has now doubled his output from the last time they've met. He's got four in the game. Nice touch passing here as Egilos finds his way to the rim. The Realtors' defense got lost in the shuffle there, not really communicating well on the switches. Kind of hard to stop Jamo Egilos, who knows how to use his length when he gets to the rim. There's another guy should learn that. Justin Arana now double teamed. Hook shot is short. Excellent defense. Here comes Hezet Gabo. Michael Wico, one of the best finishers in the league. Coming from one of the best passers in the league. Yeah. Hezet Gabo, excellent no look pass right there. Just like that, balik na naman sa 17. Kailangan habulin dito ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Rudy Linganay has been quiet so far. Nakiraan sa may baseline. Gets it out, Costello, another three! Fly-by move by Ryan Costello, knocking down that three from the left corner. Now five points in the game for the former San Sebastian Stag. Down to 14 ang kailahapulin with uh, just over two minutes here. And remaining in the second, but they left Hazet Gabo open. It does see Hazet Gabo actually reminds me of a very, very small version when he shoots uh, of Don Don Ontiveros. A That's very right. small version, yeah, right? The stroke is similar, yeah. Huh? And, Salam to, and oh. to think he wasn't a good outside shooter when he was still young. That's right. Salamat sa ating mga kaibigan sa Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority and the Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Cedric Ablas has just picked up his third foul. Two of those fouls were offensive fouls. As we see this one again. Yep, there was body movement. Yeah. Wico sits, Uiluan returns. How loaded, and we keep on saying this every time we cover AICC Manila, how loaded is this team? It's Look, very Bobby Balukanag is coming in. It's just crazy. <laughs> First hanggang third group, wedding starter sa ibang team. Exactly. Pasi can say that maybe until their second group, but this AICC team yeah. is just off the roof. So Andre Buenafe returns. Gabo, his pass. Batted away, pero marirecover pa rin dito ng kupuna ng AICC Manila. Ron J. Buenafe on the attack! Buenafe has been super efficient in this game. Having only one miss yeah. so far in this match. 47 to 29, it's back to 18. Naibaba na sa 13 kanina yan. Lingganay, switch everything ang ginagawa rito ng AICC. Jerick Tang back in. They find Tyrone Chan, but he can't find the basket. Oiluan now. One minute to go here in this very fast-paced first half. Gabo, dalawang pick ang binigay. And he now draws Tyrone Chan. Entry pass to JJ Colliano. Medyo na lito ang depensa ng Pasig sa Talusino. After that double screen, both of them roll to the basket. Bobby Balocanag and JJ Colliano. Pero yung Pasig sa Talosi Realtors defenders di na communicate dun. They got lost in the shuffle and JJ Collado found himself open for the point blank shot. Lingganay shoots a three. Finally something from Rudy. And Jerson Cabildes will call for a ceasefire. 49 to 32. AICC Manila on pace for almost 100 right now, but Rudy Linganay may have lit a fire sa rally aspirations ng Pasig Santa Lucia. This time out brought to us by Astig Roasters. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness. Where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. There is about a three-second differential between the clocks, or a two-second differential between the clocks. 
And uh, Boss Badi Encarnado concerned at this point. But he also knows it's only the first half. Anything can still happen in the second. But a lot of adjustments are needed for Pasig Santa Lucia as they are down by 17. Ron J. Buenafe, shot clock down to five. Tries to make his move and there's going to be a foul. This is before the shot. It's going to be on Lingane. That will be uh, team foul number three para sa Pasig Santa Lucia. That was almost a lucky break uh, for Pasig Santa Lucia. They almost got that turnover because there, that was horrible spacing by AICC yeah. Manila. Di nagkaintindihan doon si Esed Gabot at si Ron J. Buenafe. They have about six seconds to have the last say here in the first half. Coliado, Gabo, drives, spins, fall away, short, and that'll do it for the first 20 minutes of action. 49 for AICC Manila, 32 for the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Coach Bong de la Cruz is just trying to smile this off. But he knows he has a lot of work to do if he wants to overhaul this 17-point lead erected now by uh, AICC Manila. Again, 49 to 32. Ken Pangilinan is going to have a word with one of the leading performers in the AICC Manila in the first half. And we will hear from Michael Mabula, who is with Ken Pangilinan. I'm here with AICC Manila big man, Michael Mabulak. So, Michael, 17-point lead. Tinabaho nyo with intense pressure and physicality. Yun ba talagang game plan going into this game? Uh, Siyempre, yun talaga kasi isang game lang to. Wala nang, wala nang pwedeng mag-relax. Bukas, pwede mamaya, pwedeng umuwi kami, pwedeng sila. So, 17, 17 point lead. Uh, mal maliit pa yan. May dalawang quarters pa. So, kung pwede namin gawin yun ng two quarters, pwede rin nilang gawin yun. Mamaya, humigit pa. So, no time for relax talaga. And yun na nga yung Pasig Santal si Realtors known for its comebacks. So, ano pang kailangan yung gawin para Blue yan na kayo makapasok sa finals. Finish strong. Yun lang. Ayun, so, ayun, third quarter, ang magbabalik po tayo dito sa Phil Basket Quarter Finals. To the playoffs, uh, talagang nag-ready kami, nag-practice kami, pinag-aralan namin yung mga play ng mga kalaban namin, kung sino yung mga kalaban namin. So, yun, uh, physically and mentally, naka-ready naman kami kung, ano man yung, kung sino man yung maging kalaban namin. Uh, okay naman yung team namin, talagang ano, sa labas at loob ng court, uh, nagbabanding kami. Uh, may PS4 din doon sa kwarta namin, yun yung pinakabanding namin. So, syempre ako naman, uh, going to the playoffs talaga, talagang nakafocus din ako eh. So, para makapag-contribute ako ng maayos sa team namin, may bigay ko yung 101%. Uh, para sa akin kasi syempre, parang sobrang dami naming scorer. Andiyan sila Mabulak, Tulyado, sila Gabo yung mga shooters namin sa labas. Siguro ako, parang mas gusto ko na lang more on passing ako ngayon. So, yun, gusto ko na open sila kasi syempre, minsan dinodobol ako, kinukuha ako ng banday ko. So, yun, napapasa ko ng maayos sa kanina. Ah, syempre, kahit sino naman yung maging kalaban namin na talagang 101% yung binibigay namin. Eh. Very competitive yung team namin. Ako, syempre, eh, hindi rin ako sanay magpatalo. Ayoko na nagpapatalo. May scouting naman kami. So, doon na kami mag-base ng mga adjustments sa mga, mga mali namin na dapat itama, yung dapat ituloy, mga dagdagan. So, yun. Yun lang magiging game plan namin. Uh, so far, yung team, maganda kasi malalim yung bench namin. So, hindi, siya, hindi kami masyadong, alam mo yun, masyadong gulpe, masyadong bugbog ng elimination. So, walang injury. May mga masakit ng katawan, pero kasama yun. Pero major injury, wala. So, kompleto yung kompleto kami yung roster namin. So, I think, mas gandang advantage din yun. Actually, nagulat din ako pag nung tinignan ko sa live stats, nung, nung sinilip ko kahapon lang. Uh, nagulat ako na nandun ako sa listahan. Pero, hindi ko, hindi ko rin talaga in-expect kasi nga, unang-unang hindi ako nagahabol ng individual award din. Nagpunta ako dito para mong champion. So, individual award ay syempre bonus siya. Kung nandiyan ko ibibigay, ba't hindi? Pero tingin ko may mas deserve doon. Pero sa akin naman, every time na naglalaro ako, binibigay ko na talaga yung laro ko tas yung tiwala ni Coach. Ayoko masayang.
When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. Back here at the field basket quarterfinals, kasama ko naman ngayon, Jexter Apinan of the Pasig Santal Sea Realtors. So Jexter, nagka-momentum itong AICC Manila towards the second quarter. So nung lumalaki na yung kalamangan nung uh, AICC Manila, talaga ikaw yung nakikita ko nakikipagpatayan para makahabol. So ano man nasa isip po nung lumalaki na yung kalamangan nila? Uh, alam naman natin na uh, medyo mahirap yung sitwasyon namin dahil sunod yung game. Uh, yung AICC nakapagpahinga. So, yung nasa ano yung mindset lang namin na number give up lang kami, laban lang kami hanggang sa hindi pa tapos yung laban. Yun lang. And as a veteran of this team, ano bang sinabi mo sa mga teammates mo in the huddle? Ayun lang, uh, isa lang. Uh, sabi ko sa kanila, lumaban na sila. Uh, huwag, silang, huwag silang gumiba up kasi uh, hindi pa tapos yung laban. Eh. Yun lang. Thank you, Dexter. So, 17 point lead ang kailangan habulin. Back to you, Noel. Thank you very much, Ken. And, and Michael Babulak also belabored the point when Ken talked to him at the halftime break. Kung kayang gawin ng AICC ang 17 point lead na to, 49 to 32, in uh, one half, kaya rin burahin ng Pasig Santa Lucia. That's right. And a uh, very veteran lead in squadron ito, Pasig Santa Lucia. But in the first quarter, there was just so much fouls committed. Six fouls by AICC Manila. And for Pasig Santa Lucia naman, seven fouls. Ang kinomit nila just in the first quarter. But in that second quarter, AICC Manila ramped up the pressure, 
forced steals, forced turnovers, and got extra possessions and were able to finish their baskets in transition. Jonathan Oiloan, one of the bright spots for them in the first half. He had seven points, but Justin Arana, slowly by slowly, nakukuha niya na yung rhythm niya in this ball game. But uh, he is having a hard time in the defensive end, guarding guys like JJ Collado and Michael Mabulak. Yeah, it was tough, you know, down 9 at the end of the first and then 9-0 run at simula nung uh, kumpuna ng AICC in the second quarter. Our halftime numbers brought to us by TM Easy Surf 99. Well, we were talking about the free throws at the top of this coverage. 3 out of 10 lamang ang Pasig sa Tolosia and we did point out that if Pasig sa Tolosia is able to hit their free throws at a consistent rate in this game, they will have a big chance of claiming the victory in this ball game. But so far, that has not been the case and AICC doing well from the 15-foot parallel, 6 out of 8 points off turnovers 10 na ang ginagawa yeah. ng, pa, ng AICC Manila converting those 9 turnovers into 10 points para dito sa Pasig sa Tolosia bench points they have been performing very well talking about AICC Manila because yun nga the depth is very important especially against Pasig sa Tolosia who is coming off a, a back to back ball game this is their third straight game of this uh, stretch Leading scorers para dito sa AICC Manila. Michael Mabulak leading the way with 9. Jonathan Oiloan with 7. Sa Pasig sa Tolosia naman, Jexter Apinan with 10 to lead the Realtors. At Cedric Abraza, Ryan Costello with 5. And Justin Arana with 4. And of course, our individual stats brought to us by Grab Food. Simula na po nitong ating third quarter. As we'd like to say hello to our floor director, si Tick Boy, the one and only. And uh, Wilson is the uh, official basketball of the Phil Basket Subic Championship. Third quarter brought to us by Wilson. So Pasig Santa Lucia, could this be their final 20 minutes of the of the tournament? A miss by Tang to open the third. As at Gabo, it was all hands on deck para dito sa AICC. Everybody contributed. Everyone who has been fielded in has scored already. And Hezet Gabo continues to sizzle. And we were talking about bench points and those halftime statistics. 25 na nga ang ginagawa ng AICC Manila. Yung starters ng Pasig sa Tolosia so far carry the cudgels for them in this game. Jexter Apinan actually came off the bench but uh, most of the guys from the starting unit playing the majority of the minutes for Coach Bong de la Cruz. And there's a second three. There was a line drive three coming from Japs Bautista. And again, it has to start somewhere. It's down to 16 right now. So here is Philip Manalang. Gabo now watched by Jerick Teng on the switch. Tries to drive, tries to fake. Up and under move! Very clever move by Hesed Gabo. Jerick Teng na iwan dun sa up fake niya. 53 to 35, back to an 18 point lead. Lead was largest at 20. A blaza for three. This is a good sign for the Realtors. Six straight points to begin the second half for Pasig Santa Lucia. Both of them three-point shots coming from their top gunners. Fellow STI Olympians, Jacks, Japs Bautista and Cedric Ablaza. Pandaan natin, they went 10 of 29 in the closeout game they had against the Nueva Ecija best friend just yesterday. So some remnants of those uh, of that hot shooting is still there. Mabulak, ilalabas, manalang on the fake. The next to drive goes over to Collado. Battle for the rebound, Apinan gets it. That's very important for Pasig Santa Lucia. They should be able to limit uh, AICC Manila to just one shot per possession and take advantage of that. Oh. They are, after all, <laughs> going after this double-digit advantage. And Jexter Apinan having a lot to say about that. That's now 12 points in the ball game for the former JRU Heavy Bomber. Ika nga sa isang kanta ng River Mayan ay sinulat ni Rico Blanco, patay na kung patay, magkaalaman lang. Yan po ang nilalaro ngayon nitong si Jexter Apinan. And the fall away by Hesed Gabo. That's already double figures for Hesed Gabo, the former Mapuo Cardinal, coming to play here for Coach Gerson Cabiltes. Only had six points in their first meeting on two of three shooting from the field. Apinan for three. Costello with the offensive rebound. Bautista puts it on the floor. Japs will walk, yes. So again, Bautista was actually quite open. Matagal lang yung bola, baka makarating sa kanya. Nakabalik agad ang depensa. Let's take a look at this Hezet Gabo. Fall away, even if he is taller than uh, Ryan Costello. That's still a tough shot. That's right, and that's been a very tough matchup for Ryan Costello. Oh! As JJ Collado knocks down that three-pointer. 
because against Nueva Ecija, yung mga guards naman ng Nueva Ecija, they don't have really tall guards. Yeah. Not like what AICC has. They have Hesed Jabot, they have Chris Bito, and sometimes Jonathan Oilon plays a little point for them. Philip Manalang, also taller than Ryan Costello. Kaya they are taking advantage of that height. Jeric Teng able to get to the free throw line as we thank our friends from Coco Life, our official partner here in the Field Basket Subic Championship. See that post up here by Jeric Teng against former UE Red Warrior Philip Manalang. Okay, this is now Jeric Teng going to the free throw line. Nagkalimutan lang po tayo kanina. We still have our promo ongoing. If you can guess our player of the game, at uh, you will be able to get one of the one of three winners who will be able to get 500 grab points. Just use the hashtag GrabKitchen500. Hulaan nyo po kung sino magiging player of the game natin. You have until the end of this quarter as we thank our floor director, Thick Boy, the one and only, for reminding us. <laughs> Tantalizing moment. Nah, tulalize. Tulalizing. Pala. Tulalizing. Tulalizing. <laughs> We're gonna have a... There's a buzzer here. We have a lull in the action here. Looks like there's a sub supposed to come in. Oh, apparently, somebody is bleeding. It's Philip Manalang. Yeah. Philip Manalang, may uh, natamong sugat. And he has lifted out. Jonathan Uiluan comes in. It's six foot one point guard. How about that? Dang. That's a very, very high arching free throw. And he has done this in enti his entire career. Coming off a 16-point performance in the closeout against the Nueva Ecija best friend where he went 4 of 7 from beyond the arc. Well, hasn't made a 3-pointer yet in this isa, game. Isa yata, di ba? Meron daw siyang isa. Wala pa. Wala pa. So maybe he can help out. They're down by 16. Nice seal. And again, Michael Mapulak ng mamama na naman sa loob. Back to an 18-point lead, 60 to 42. Coming up on six minutes remaining in the third. Apinan, one-on-one -on -one here against itong si Michael Mabulak, but can't get it to go. Apinan tries to keep it alive. They will do this again with another six minutes remaining here in the third. Mabulak versus Apinan tries to drop it inside to Ablaza. That's just a veteran's patience right yeah. there. He see here Jexer Apinan trying to break down that post defense itong si Michael Mabulak. And this guy is not a, a light guy to push. Right. Halos hindi nga gumagalaw pag binabanggay. Gabo deep three. Ablaza for the rebound. That's the shot you want from Hesed Gabo if you're passing Santa Lucia. Force him to take those outside shots. He doesn't really hit those consistently. Although he does have one already today. Here's Tang. Shot clock at 10. Tang on the attack. Jerick Tang scores! That's just excellent body control and strength there by Jerick Tang. Able to finish despite the contact. Lead is down to 14. We call looking for Mabulak once again. They'll drop down to another zone defense. Nice pass to Colliado. Somebody missed an assignment there. Well, yeah, better effort being shown here by the Realtors. But the question is, can they sustain this? Can this unit sustain this? Pag, paano pagpasok na ng mga bench players itong Realtors? Can they duplicate the kind of effort that the players on the floor right now are displaying to start this second half? Jexter is going to take a seat as we take a look at this Michael Mabulak. Brilliant assist. It was a bounce pass with the left hand. Ala John Stockton yung ginawa doon. Netong si Mabulak to Collado as the bigs. Kinikindatang ka pa ni ano, ni Michael Mabulak. Naririnig yata tayo. Well, I was talking to him earlier this morning. Sabi niya, aga daw niya magising today. Oh, no. Sobrang excited daw siya para maglaro. And that's, you know, ito yung mga nakatikim na ng championship sa ibang level. They've been to the PBA as well. So they know what it takes to win and they really want to get it done right now. Here's Jonathan Uiluan. Hooks it inside to Mabulak against two green shirts. Michael Mabulak with the left hand. No, dangerous pass. And secured by Jerick Tang. Bautista lining up for another three. Jumps Bautista again! Second three-pointer in this third quarter for Jumps Bautista. That lead is down to 13. Para dito sa AICC Manila. The Realtors coming to life in this second half. No timeout still being called here by Jerson Cabiltes. 
Under four minutes to go in the third. Mabulak finding Wiko. And Michael Wiko gets it to go. That's the best defense that uh, Jabs Bautista could have put up. Importante dun, he didn't commit a foul right there. Back again to 15. 3 and 35 remaining in the third. Costello has been quiet. And he will get to the free throw line. Only five points, a rebound, and an assist for Ryan Costello, who has been the catalyst for Coach Bong de la Cruz this past few games. Here comes the second unit as we take a look at this Michael Wico masterpiece. One of the most underrated post players among the guards, uh, ito si Michael Wico. He just well, plays with so much tenacity. Well, four players have come in now for AICC Manila. So it is Taganas joining uh, itong si Bitoon, joining uh, Balukanag, pati na rin itong si Ron J. Buenafe as these free throws are brought to us by Wilson, the official basketball of the Field Basket Subic Championship. John Ray Villanueva returns. Tyrone Chan returns. We should Thirteen, note yeah. that this second unit for AICC Manila did the most damage yes. against Pasig Satolosia in that first half. So, titingnan natin if the fight can be carried on by the Realtors and matuloy nila itong ma mas magandang effort na pinapakita nila in this third quarter. Backdoor play! Uy, Luan missed the layup! Palukanag can't get it to go. And again, Pasig Santa Lucia dodged another bullet there. And now an opportunity to come even closer. The barrier has been 13. That's the closest they've been. Villanueva puts it on the floor. Natapikan ng bola. Here comes Justin Arana. And he will finish. John Ray Villanueva might have gotten away with the traveling <laughs> right. ball right there. 11 points na lang ang hinahabol dito ng Pasig Santa Lucia from a high of 20. They lob it inside to Balukan. A great defense by Japs Bautista. That could have been off Bobby B's knee actually. Uh -huh. But it will still be possession to AICC Manila. And Rudy Lingana will check in. For some reason, I like this sub. Naipumasok na ito si Lingana for Costello at this time with this unit. More pesky defense this time by Rudy. I believe it was Billy Nueva who poked Oh, it's a John away. Ray. Yes, you're right. 11 to shoot. As Buena Fe will trigger it in once again. Again, uh, you can see Ronjay Buena Fe is playing with a sore ankle. That's a miss. Oh, J.R. Taganas at the right place at the right time. Well, that inbounds play drew Justin Arana out of the shaded area. Therefore, nobody marking J.R. Taganas. It was only uh, Rudy Lingana who was there. Here's the seal again. Arana, natapika na naman ni Taganas. Balukanag, the fast break machine. Can't get it to go. And look at Tyrone Chan sky high for the, re uh, for the rebound. Coming up on two minutes to go. Bautista on the flank. Bautista for three. No. Pitoon will slow it down. Less than two minutes remaining here in the third. The lead is 13. Pitoon tries to dissect the defense. Buena Fe for three. Good! Three out of four for the former Emilio Aguinaldo College star. And the lead back up to 16. But despite the fact that Ron J. Buena Fe just hit another three, Asik Santa Lucia is showing a lot more fight here in the third. 69-53, AICC Manila. Timeout brought to us by Astig Roasters. Back with us here at the Subic Bay Gym. Let's take a look at our TikTok move of the game. Brought to us by TikTok. Pabaling tira. Para kay Jeric Tang. Jeric Tang trying to be a part of the comeback 
Para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia As he is as the skipper of the squad Jerson Cabiltes on your screens He has not sat down this entire game He's probably as uh, sweaty as his players at this point Parang Doug Collins ng araw Nagko-coach sa Chicago na alala mo O kahit kaya si Coach Bong may beam po yan sa shoulder eh. <laughs> O kaya nga eh Peng behind the back Tyrone Chan straight away three Yes! I've seen this movie before. <laughs> it's called the Tyrone Chan Show. And it was last shown a week ago when uh, Pasig Santa Lucia defeated AICC. Offensive foul is going to be called on Ron J. Buenafe at Napahiyaw. Nag-abot pa ba itong dalawang ito sa rain or shine? Sino? Si Ronjo at si Jeric. I did, I did, I did. I think Ronjo was playing for Meralco already at the time. As we see this once again. Buena fe. Girian. Boom. Takedown. Wrestling match. Here's Lingganay now. Going over to Arana. Less than a minute remaining here in the third. Oh, wow. Another steal. That's just nonchalantly done by Chris Bitol. Parang lumapit lang siya. Kinuha lang niya yung bola. And there's nothing Arana could do about it. And a foul given up here by Rudy Lingana. And that's only their first. That's very interesting. Uh, as we wind down this third quarter, wait, see here, the first this replay. Rudy Lingana giving up the duty foul. That's very interesting that we are already towards the end of this quarter. And wala pang team na nasa penalty. Yeah. Both teams trying to play as the best defense that they can. Oh, near steal. And that is going to be off the knee of Ronje Buenafe. Great defense by John Ray Villanueva. Villanueva, though, Ron J. Buenafe has been very efficient from the field in this game, has done quite a good job of getting under the skin of uh, former AAC star. A -E -A -C. EAC. Pala. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Tang for three. And uh, Villanueva and uh, Buenafe, part two. Parang part three na nga yan. Part three na ba yan? <laughs> So the uh, John Ray and the Ron J show, huh? Part three. It's quite a box office hit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pangalan palang. Oh. Pwede sila maging uh, love team, pwede ba? <laughs> <laughs> Ito na si Biton. Still watched by Linganay. Oy Luan against Teng. They zip it inside to Balukana again. Bobby tries to force this one up. Battle for the loose ball. It winds up again with Taganas when he will miss second time around. It's good for the former San Beda player. That's just frustrating for Pasig Santa Lucia. They have three players inside. It. It's just JR Taganas for AICC. Taan at the buzzer. The lead is down to 15. Para sa Pasig Santa Lucia to overhaul. It is AICC 71. Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors 56. And the comeback is on, but they're still falling short. They did win this third quarter, though. This third quarter started, of course, with uh, Ito Siyaz Gabo energizing that first unit, but Jexter Apinan just really finding ways to help his team. This time with the assist to Cedric Ablaza. More Santa Lucia from that third quarter. Japs Bautista able to knock down two three-pointers as we head into the fourth quarter with AICC up by 15. There is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness. Where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. The final 10 minutes in this game. Here's the storyline. AICC Manila up by 15, 71 to 56. Pasig Santa Lucia won the third quarter. But if Pasig Santa Lucia does not overhaul this 15-point lead, they are going home. That's right. It was definitely a better fight being displayed by the realtors in that third quarter. 8 out of 15 from the field, 4 out of 8 from 3-point country, and 4 out of 4 from the free throw line. 
after a dismal percentage in the first half. They are definitely doing better right now. Let's see if they can sustain that. Only a two-point lead in that third quarter, but that's a start for them if they want to chop down this lead and sneak in that victory against AICC Manila. And again, that is the best scoring quarter for the Realtors so far in this game. Ablaza, oh, he tried to lob it inside. He could have taken the shot. Nobody challenged anymore. Here comes Uiluan. Balukana can't finish. Ablaza wants to redeem himself now. Gets it over to Apinan. They will go to the half-court game. Teng against Bitoan. And Bitoan is saying, bring it on. Jerick now against Taganas. He likes this matchup. Jerick Teng on the drive, short on the layup. Uiluan says, relax. We're up by 15. Sorry, he missed right there for Jerick Teng. There was nobody in front of him to challenge that shot. Balukanak providing the pick now for Bitoan. Taganas. Buena fe, another three. Not this time. Teng on the fast break ngayon. Para sa Pasig, Santa Lucia. Teng, one man to beat. One fake. Jerick Teng again. He is digging deep into his bag here. He knows that he has to perform well for his squad, being the captain of this team. And a two-time UAAP finalist. Trying to egg his team back in. Oiluan. Suddenly, AICC is missing from the outside. And there's going to be a, a lot of contact here as Balukana goes down. Apinan acknowledges. Bautista has returned. Ilang patras ni Bautista nung third? Dalawa o tatlo? Dalawa. Dalawa. see this again. Apinan, oh, he really brought out the arm that time. 8 and 26 remaining in regulation. Bitoon! And that is a surprise three coming from Chris Bitoon. That's right, Chris Bitoon now with 8 points in this game, but hasn't really attempted much from the outside. Back to a 16-point lead. Bautista! Caging ang tinawag dito. So Manala called for this. Looks like uh, the wound has been cleaned up kanina. There's a faking a foul warning on Wiko. So Japs Bautista, given continuation on that move, will take two free throws. Again, he's the best free throw shooter for Santa Lucia on the floor and I will stop talking right now. Oh, effective, ah. Sige lang, sige lang. Salita ka lang. <laughs> eh, yes, di ba? <laughs> Silence is key. Eh, yun lang, ah. Down to 14. Lots of time in this one, huh? Oh this yeah, is... definitely. Just a 14-point lead. Yeah. This is still not a done deal para sa AICC Manila. Bito on another three. Bito Whoa. on another three! Back-to-back three-pointers for Chris Bito on. That's a tough deal for Pasig Santa Lucia. He's the only one who's been successful so far. Bautista can't get it back. Ablaza. Offensive rebound and a reset. And Ablaza missed another layup. How many missed layups for Santa Lucia in this game? That's been a lot. And the ball movement has been absent the past few possessions for the Realtors. That has been the magic that they have been making the past few games. And I, I would thank our friends from Coco Life, the official partner here in the Field Basket Subic Championship. Shot clock now down to five. Bitoon lost the ball. Here comes Bautista. Almost walked. That was close. Costello away from play. Wico in an MMA fixture with Japs Bautista. Under ko dederecho niya sa mission na dapat yung kasunod nun eh. Undercard to ng ano, Ron J. Jandri. 
tabakan yun. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, that move. Ooh. Yeah, that will make Mark Munoz proud. <laughs> the filled basket wrecking machine. Pwede ba yun? <laughs> Six and 57 remaining. And the referees are trying to make sure that nothing untoward happens. Sa girian itong dalawang kupuna na ito. Tang on the inbound. Nakanak! Oh! Papunta rito kay Jextra Pinan. Miscommunication on defense there for AICC. No one marking Jexter Apinan. Michael Wico sabi, gagawin ko dun. Nakatalikod siya. Oh. Away from play again. And uh, this time it's a double takedown dito. Looks like the foul is just going to be called on Japs Bautista. Yeah. Ayan no? Boom, banga. Banga. Oh, <laughs> That might have been a case for a flop, huh? Di ba? Na-warning na si Wiko kanina. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, may konting usapan dito. Ayan. Uh, saan kayo kakain mamaya pagkatapos ng game? Colliado trying to be uh, the peacemaker once again as Wiko and Bautista are now starting to get heated. So, di lang pala wrestling match yung meron natin dito. Full package pala. May entertainment, may oh, drama. Man. Parang parang wrestling din. Oh. Don't you just love playoff basketball? <laughs> of course. And in and, and this level also, this is win or go home. Walang hindi po to series. Yung series yung kasunod. Kung sino yung mananalo rito. So, doubly heated up. Maybe even triple. Yeah. And again, Pasig Santa Lucia is down in this one. Jerson Cabiltes is down to one timeout remaining in this game. But he has a 15-point lead with this timeout brought to us by Astig Roasters. When you look at greatness, there is a lot you don't see. You don't see the path to greatness, where it starts, how far it can go, or what fuels each step. It's a thirst for more. A belief that no matter how great you are today, you can be even greater tomorrow. The greatest never settle. Six minutes and 41 seconds remaining dito sa ating fourth quarter. 77 AICC Manila, 62 Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Noel Zarate pa rin po kasama si Javi Palanya. And uh, the winner of this game huh, will move on to the finals to meet the winner of our second game for today between the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life and the San Juan Knights Go for Gold. Now we know that Pasig Santa Lucia doesn't really like to run a lot. But at this time, I think it's time they quicken up the pace here. 15 points by itong hinahabol nila. Dang, yes. Down to 13. And Jerick Dang has been uh, ultra-aggressive here in the second half as we thank our friends from the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority and the Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Now 10 points in the ballgame for the former UST King Tiger. Coming off a 16-point performance in the closeout against Nueva Ecija. Wico has it taken away. Here comes Bautista into the front court. Here's Apinan. Tries to lob it over to Ablaza. And the recovery made by Manalang. Another botched effort para sa Pasig Santa Lucia. A little bit too tentative for the realtors on that transition play. Still a 13-point lead. Philip Manalang, 6 on the shot clock. Manalang still has it. He passed to nobody on this offensive. Costello pushing it up now for the green shirts. Costello all the way. Ooh. Missed another layup. Another missed layup for the Realtors. Perhaps. By my count, there are five already here in the fourth. Or in the second half, rather. Nothing they can do but just to move on from that play. Get a stop right here. Colliado, no. Tang with it. 
Less than five minutes remaining. Zips it inside. Ablaza. No whistle that time. Pasig Santa Lucia has to look for that next gear right about now. Mabulak with the pick. Bitoon on the crossover. Drops it over to Mabulak. Yes! Chris Bitoon drawing the attention of the defense there. Bothering Jexter up in nine. Remember, who, ah, who left, uh, who left it on si Michael Mabulak. Dang again. Missed another layup. And they save it to Bautista. On the step in. That one rolls in. Back to a 13-point lead once again. But they need to string some, some stops here. Yeah, we have less than four minutes remaining. Tanda natin. When these two teams met, it was a come-from-behind victory para sa Pasig Santa Lucia. They were down by 10 in the fourth quarter as well, and they still won that game by four. Let's see this move once again coming from Japs Bautista. The fake and then the one-hander. Three minutes and 49 remaining. Coach Bon de la Cruz has run a very tight rotation in this ball game. Yeah, oh, Wico with a great cut! You cannot afford to trade baskets if you're Santa Lucia. Dang, foul. Well, both of them go down and Biton looks like he's hurt. Got, it, got hit in the midsection. Alam naman si Jeric when he drives his elbow sometimes flail. Pero ito talaga. He got hit also on the head by Michael Mabulak. It's Jeric Tang. Look at Hesed Gabo. Just get everybody together. We know what they're trying to do. And we know how to stop them. Three minutes and 33 remaining. Not a shooting foul. Not a shooting foul. Team foul situation, AICC Manila already at the limit. Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors with three team fouls. They have one more foul to give. So I checked the timeout story. First timeout lang pala in the second half yun. Kanina ng AICC. So they still have two, two full timeouts. And the Realtors also have two full timeouts. Quick high-low. Nabasa kagad yan ni Gabo. That was the right uh, mindset there for uh, Pasig Santa Lucia to try to get something inside. Because AICC is already in the limit. But just not a good pass there by Jexter Apinan. And a good pass there coming from Chris Piton to Michael Mabulak as this lead is ballooned to 17 points once again. And this is our grab delivery of the game brought to us by Kraft Food. Timeout called by Pasig Santa Lucia. And this timeout is brought to us by Astig Roasters. Eighty-three to sixty-six. It's starting to look bleak. If it wasn't bleak already at the start of this fourth quarter, it's uh, starting to look bleak now. Para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, down by seventeen. They need some kind of a miracle already at this point. Bautista gets it to Ablaza. Three-pointer offline, and Costello gets the follow-up. That's the ninth point of Ryan Costello in this game. But hasn't been able to contribute in the other departments. Again, this lead is 15. The winner goes up against the winner later on in the match against uh, Nung Davao at San Juan. If you didn't watch the first matchup between Davao and San Juan, 
That was the only double overtime game of this tournament. So we expect to see fireworks there as well later on. Still a chance here para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Apinan looking for a friend. Ablaza puts it on the floor. Runs into the stone wall of Collado. And Chris Piton will get his easiest basket of the game. And Pasig Santa Lucia will now use its final timeout with 2 and 23 remaining. The celebrations have begun on the side of the AICC Manila bench as Chris Piton now gives them another 17 point lead. With 2 and 23 remaining, timeout brought to us by Astig Roasters. And back with us, Dito, sa Subic Bay Gym. This, uh, these next sequences should be a formality already para sa AICC Manila. They have played well. And they have a 17-point lead. And the pressure's still on. They're yeah. not taking any chances here. Peng just got that across. Costello on the drive. Another layup missed. So when, if you're Bong de la Cruz and you look back at this game, where was the turning point for you? Was it the free throws missed? Was it the missed layups as we have our last two minutes brought to us by TM Easy Surf 99? Well, definitely it was the start of that ball game. That second quarter actually was the most crucial part of this game because that's where AICC did the most damage. That second unit that they have coming off the bench that erected that 17-point lead that actually extended to 20. Yeah. And uh, it no matter how good the fight that they displayed in the third quarter, na hirapan na talaga sila to get back from that. Well, Steven Siruma is deemed to have touched that last. They're going to review that one. Japs Bautista coming off uh, oh, some pretty good three pointers there. It looks like Siruma might have touched it last. That was close. But see, that's what's important here because this is a knockout game. So really no room for error. And that's what AICC did from the get-go. They played tenacious defense. They took no chances on offense, took the good shots. Pasig Santa Lucia was slow to start this game and was inconsistent during the second quarter. They displayed a better effort in the third quarter, but the hole they dug themselves in was just too hard to get out of. Coach Jerson Cabildes now slowly emptying the bench. Pinasok na nga dito si... Uh Bring us, pati na rin itong si Ramirez, Apinan, not this time, and uh, Ramirez will get it. A minute and 26 remaining. So again, if you're AICC Manila naman, who do you want to meet in the finals? Davao, the team you took into overtime? Or itong ko na San Juan Knights? Well, any, any team actually from that matchup will be a tough matchup para dito sa AICC Manila. Both teams are very well-coached teams. Both teams have veterans in their squad. But uh, I think AICC Manila will fare better against Davao Occidental because San Juan has the younger legs. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, AICC, not really a young team here. The two days rest that na nakuha nitong AICC Manila helped the veterans recuperate. Especially Ron J. Buenafe. When he got injured, a Siruma puts up a three. That's it. Especially when Ron J. Buenafe injured his ankle, we thought he would not even be, uh, be here today. That's right. And Steven Siruma hitting the cherry on top of the ice cream here. Oy, masarap yun. <laughs> Mainit ngayon eh. Dito sa Subic. Less than a minute remaining in the season or in the tournament para dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Utmost respect, of course, between these two coaches. Oh yeah, Especially definitely. ito si Bong De La Cruz. They were at 1.1, ano ba, 0 and 2 to begin this uh, tournament. They were at the 500 mark for a very long time. As bring us misses. And they clawed their way back. And Jack Strapinan is not even going to bother bringing it across. And I think this is the sporting uh, thing to do that we have lost. You guys have won. The best team prevailed here. 
And Jekstra Pinan goes over to his uh, JRU body itong si uh, Michael Mabulak. What a war they had over two games. But in the end, of course, it is AICC Manila. The number one seed heading into the finals, uh, heading into the playoffs, is now going to the finals. That's right. And uh, Santa Lucia definitely has nothing to be ashamed of. They played really well, especially towards the end of the tournament. They displayed the fight that was uh, expected of them, being a veteran-laden squad, and uh, just really the utmost, utmost respect for the Realtors. We got Jerson Cabildes over with uh, Jekstra Pinan. And hugs all around. It was a very, very physical game. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of uh, incidences where it could have gotten out of hand. But at the end of the day, these guys are all friends. That's and this right. is a tournament to promote amateur basketball at the end of the day. That's the bigger picture. So we are going to have our Coco Life best player of the game. One of the catalysts of the run in the second quarter and of course sustained it in the fourth quarter as we confirm our final score, 88 to 68. The victory to AICC Manila moving on to the finals as Javi Palanya is now with our Coco Live best player of the game, Chris Piton. Thank you, Noel, and we are with the Coco Live best player of the game, Chris Piton. Chris, grabe, what a tough matchup for you, Pasig Santa Lucia. They gave up a good fight in the third quarter. Ikaw, Five points ka lang nung first half, pero you proceeded to score eight points nung second half, especially mga crucial baskets na nagrara na itong Realtors. Uh, tingin mo, how big is this uh, for your confidence going into the finals? Ay, yung points ko kanina talagang bonus na lang din yun eh. Dumating sa akin talagang binigay ko din yung best ko. Nagtulong-tulong kami sa defense, yun talaga yung naging priority namin, yung defense, yung defense namin sa kanil. So, maging, malaking ano sa amin to, uh, malaking kumpiyansa sa amin to na going to the finals kami. So Chris, uh, ngayon na nasa finals na kayo, sino yung gu mas gusto nyo makatapat sa finals, San Juan or Davao? Hindi, kahit sino naman eh, parehas naman nilang best din yun eh. Kung sino manalo sa kanila mamaya, ah, talagang paghahandaan lang, pag lang namin sila. Alright Chris, congratulations once again. Baka may mga gusto ko batiin. Uh, first of all, nagpapasalamat ako Lord God na walang na-injury sa amin, pare pati dun sa kalaban namin. And pinapasalamat ako si Boss Alduin, si Ma'am Hershey, Yorme, si Isko. Doc Willy, Boss Gab, Barbershop, Performance Ratio. And binabati ko yung wife ko, yung anak ko, si Kai Kai, si Princess, si Adam, and yung family ko, si Papa, and yung kuya ko. Yan, thank you. Alright, thank you again. Once again, Chris Bitoon, our Coco Life, best player of the game, AICC Manila, waiting na ngayon sa finals. Let's swing back over to Noel to wrap this baby up. And let's swing back over to our uh, playoff bracket in, in just a few moments. Itong AICC Manila is uh, a 20-point win, resounding win over itong kumpunan ng Pasig Santa Lucia Realtor. So there is the identity of finalist number one, AICC Manila. Sino mga katapat nila sa kabilang side ng bracket naman tayo pupunta for our second game. Itong kumpunan ng Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Live, the number two seed heading into the playoffs against the third seeded San Juan Knights Go for Gold. And we will have that for you in just a few moments. Panatili lang po kayo nakatutok sa aming tuloy-tuloy na paghatid sa inyo ng semifinals nitong Phil Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Live.